In this video, I'm going to explain again about the virtual device context or VDCs and after brief review, we will learn about the configuration of VDC. The Nexus 7000 NX OS software supports virtual device context or VDCs. VDCs allow the partitioning of a single physical Nexus 7000 device into multiple logical devices. This logical separation provides the following benefits. First, administrative and management separation. Second, change and failure domain isolation from other VDCs. And third, address, VLAN, VRF, and VPC isolation. Each VDC appears as a unique device and allows for separate role-based access control management or RBAC per VDC. This enables VDCs to be administered by different administrators while still maintaining a rich granular RBAC capability. With this functionality, each administrator can define virtual routing and forwarding instance or VRF names and VLAN IDs independent of those used in other VDCs safely with the knowledge that VDCs maintain their own unique software processes, configuration, and data plane forwarding tables. Each VDC also maintains an individual high availability or HA policy that defines the action that the system will take when a failure occurs within a VDC. Depending on the hardware configuration of the system, there are various actions that can be performed. In a single supervisor system, the VDC can be shut down, restarted, or the supervisor can be reloaded. In a redundant supervisor configuration, the VDC can be shut down, restarted, or a supervisor switch over can be initiated. There are components that are shared between VDCs which include the following. First, a single instance of the kernel which supports all of the processes and VDCs. Second, supervisor module, then fabric module, and then power supplies, and then fan trays, and then system fan trays, and then CMP, and then COP, and after that, hardware span resources. This figure shows the logical segmentation with VDC on the Nexus 7000. A common use case is horizontal consolidation to reduce the quantity of physical switches at the data center aggregation layer. In this figure, there are two physical Nexus 7000 chassis. The logical VDC layout is also shown. And after that, about the VDC configuration, this video shows the required step to creating a VDC. Once the VDC is created, you will assign resources to the VDC. VDCs are always created from the default admin VDC context or VDC context 1. The maximum number of VDCs that can be configured per Nexus 7000 chassis is 4. The default VDC means VDC 1 and 3 additional VDC. I will show you the configuration here, but the simulator or, emula em or emu emulator may be support only one VDC because of that I can't configure them here. Only I want to show you the uh, one VDC in the emulator, but you can see the configuration here. As you can see, the, uh, here this example shows how to configure the VDC core on Egypt. Okay, we have Congo and Egypt switch. And for example, in one of them, we want to configure VDC. Only you need to use VDC and then the name of VDC. And after that, we show VDC, you can see the, uh, for example, VDCs that you have. VDC, uh, here we have two VDC, VDC1, VDC2. The VDC name is Egypt and the second VDC name is Core. Let me to show you the similar function in our switch. Assume that I use show VDC. Here I have one VDC. This is the default VDC in the emulator. Uh, the name is switch, status state is active, and this is the MAC address. This is the type of VDC. 
okay and here if i try to create a new vdc for example vdc and then the name of vdc let me to use here core also okay i will receive error message because you have reached the maximum number of allowed vdc but in the actually nexus uh, switch you will have two four vdc uh, option actually it means that you have one vdc vdc one by default and then you can create three vdcs more than the first vdc vdc one two vdc three and vdc four it is very easy and the next command that you can use is show vdc then the vdc name uh, default let me to use show vdc uh, for example switch this is the vdc name that i have here and then detail okay you need to use detail here you can see that we have vdc id1 vdc name switch vdc state active and then vdc mac address and other features related to the vdc once the vdc is created you know how to assign uh, physical interfaces to the vdc depending on the ethernet module installed in the actually switch okay I, actually this example uh, demonstrates how to allocate interfaces to a vdc the command is easy under the vdc core you need to use allocate interface and then the interface name let me to show you here we can go to the uh, vdc for example switch and here you can use allocate okay and then interface for example 2 1 that's it and after that for verification to verify the interface allocation you need to enter a show vdc membership command so easy show vdc membership that's it look at here it shows us that we have here for example one vdc vdc what vdc id is one vdc name switch inter switch and then interfaces included in this vdc here you can see those interfaces actually all interfaces in my switch is member of uh, vdc one or vdc switch but in your switch maybe you see uh, different vdcs vdc one vdc two vdc three and four and uh, in each vdc we have uh, some interfaces in addition to interfaces other physical resources can be allocated to an individual vdc including ipv4 road memory ipv6 road memory port channels and span sessions configuring these values prevents a single vdc from monopolizing system resources this example actually demonstrate how to accomplish this this is allocating system resources also let me to show you here in our vdc we are in the vdc we can use limit resource command and also according to the version of ios you have some options for example about the module type about the u4 root unicast uh, version 4 root actually memory and then unicast version 6 root memory you can define some limitations also as you can see here we have port channel option vlan option and vrf options okay and also defining the vdc ha or, or high availability policy is also done within the vdc configuration sub mode use the ha policy command to define the ha policy for a vdc as you can see here uh, under the vdc uh, vdc name you can use ha policy and then uh, for dual supervisor okay dual supervisor and then for example you can use bring down here we have some options i'm not going to explain about all of them here we are trying to learn about the vdc overall con uh, configuration not the detailed configuration but actually the ha policy will depend based on the use case or vdc role for example if you have dual supervisor module in the next 7000 chassis or if the vdc role is development or test the vdc ha policy may be to just shut down the vdc okay if the vdc role is for the core and aggregation use case the ha policy would be uh, for example a switch over all right as i mentioned before once the vdc is created you now have to assign physical interfaces to the vdc depending on the ethernet modules installed in the switch interface allocation is supported a little difference for example in the 32 port 10 gigabit ethernet module 
or N7K M132XP12, okay, interfaces can be allocated on a per port group basis. There are eight, as you can see, uh, port groups. For example, port group one are interfaces E1, E3, E5, E7, and port group two are interfaces E2, E4, E6, and E8. E8. It is not important and necessary to remember them. Only I want to inform you that it is dependent to the actually physical module that you have. Or, for example, in the 48 port 1000 base X IO module or N7K M148GS11, okay, here it can be allocated on a per port basis. Each port can be a member of, for example, a VDC. Or a future module, for example, this module N7K D132 XP15 interfaces will be allocated per two ports per VDC. It is not possible to virtualize a physical interface and associate the resulting logical interfaces to two, actually to different VDCs. A supported configuration is to virtualize a physical interface and associate the resulting logical interface within different VRFs or VLANs. By default, all physical ports belong to the default VDC.